Math Grade 1 Quarter 2 Week 5 Let's learn about Two-digit number as a sum of tens and ones Day 1 Matatag Curriculum Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 1, we will discuss about two-digit number as a sum of tens and ones. Learning competencies The learners Add numbers by expressing addends as tens and ones or expanded form. Add numbers with sums up to 100 without regrouping using a variety of concrete and pictorial models for two-digit and one-digit numbers, two-digit and two-digit numbers, and Solve problems or given orally or in pictures involving addition with sums up to 100 without regrouping. Day 1 Learning Objectives At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to represent a two-digit number as a sum of tens and ones. Hello learners! Let's have a drill on basic addition facts. Bring out your show me boards and your counters. Count 13 counters and split the 13 counters into two groups. For example, let's count 13 popsicle sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then, split the 13 counters or 13 popsicle sticks into two groups, like this. So this is 1 and 12. 1 and 12 is 13. Write on your show me boards the number of counters in each group that you have formed for 13. 1 and 12. Another form is 2 and 11 is 13. Next, 3 and 10 is 13. 4 and 9 is 13. 5 and 8 is 13. 6 and 7 is 13. 7 and 6 is 13. 8 and 5 is 13. 9 and 4 is is 13 10 and 3 is 13 11 and 2 is 13 and 12 and 1 is 13 the purpose of this lesson is to represent two digit numbers as sums of tens and ones read the following keywords tens ones sum Number Sentence Add Plus Equals Once digit Tens digit Place value Value Now, write each answer to a number sentence. The number sentence for 1 and 12 is 1 plus 12 equals 13. For 2 and 11, the number sentence is 2 plus 11 equals 13. For 3 and 10, the number sentence is 3 plus 10 equals 13. For 4 and 9, the number sentence is 4 plus 9 equals 13. For 5 and 8, the number sentence is 5 plus 8 equals 13. For 6 and 7, the number sentence is 6 plus 7 equals 13. 
For 7 and 6, the number sentence is 7 plus 6 equals 13. For 8 and 5, the number sentence is 8 plus 5 equals 13. For 9 and 4, the number sentence is 9 plus 4 equals 13. For 10 and 3, the number sentence is 10 plus 3 equals 13. For 11 and 2, the number sentence is 11 plus 2 equals 13. And for 12 and 1, the number sentence is 12 plus 1 equals 13. Which of these number sentences expresses 13 as a sum of 10s and 1s? The answer is 10 plus 3 equals 13 and 3 plus 10 equals 13. In 10 plus 3 or 3 plus 10, 13 is written as a sum of 10s and 1s. Let us use counters to represent the number. 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 10, 3, 1's. How many 10's are there in 13? Correct! There is one ten. How many ones are there in thirteen? Correct! There are three ones. One ten and three ones is the same as ten plus three or three plus ten. Another example. Twenty-six. Let us use this place value chart. For 26, there are 2 tens and 6 ones. 2 tens and 6 ones is the same as 20 plus 6 or 6 plus 20. For this activity, do the following. Show each number using your counters. Then tell the number of its tens and ones. The given example is 64. In 64, there are 6 tens and 4 ones. So what is the correct answer for number 1? Very good! In 37, there are 3 tens and 7 ones. Number 2, 19. What is the correct answer for this? Very good! In 19, there is one ten and nine ones. Number 3, 42. What is the correct answer for this? Very good! In 42, there are four tens and two ones. Number 4, 25. What is the correct answer for this? Very good! In 25, there are 2 tens and 5 ones. And for number 5, 51. What is the correct answer for this? Very good! In 51, there are 5 tens and 1 ones. Let's discuss the given example, 67. 67 has 6 tens and 7 ones. As a sum of tens and ones, it can be written as 67 equals 60 plus 7. How many tens and ones are in 67? Correct! There are 6 tens and 7 ones in 67. What is 6 tens equal to? Correct! 6 tens is equal to 60. And what is 7 ones equal to? Correct! 7 ones is equal to 7. For this activity, write each number as a sum of tens and ones. For example, the sum is 64 and the number sentence is 
60 plus 4. Number 1, 37. What is the correct answer? Very good! It can be written as 30 plus 7. Number 2, 19. What is the correct answer? Very good! It can be written as 10 plus 9. Number 3, 42. What is the correct answer? Very good! It can be written as 40 plus 2. Number 4, 25. What is the correct answer? Very good! It can be written as 20 plus 5. And for number 5, 51. What is the correct answer? Very good! It can be written as 50 plus 1. The tens digit of the number tells the number of tens, and the ones digit tells the number of ones in the number. In writing a number as a sum of tens and ones, the values of the digits in the number are added. Let's do this activity. Write the following numbers as sums of tens and ones on your show me board. Number 1, 93. What is the correct answer? Very good! It can be written as 90 plus 3. Number 2, 64. What is the correct answer? Very good! It can be written as 60 plus 4. Number 3, 27. What is the correct answer? Very good! It can be written as 20 plus 7. Number 4. What is the correct answer? Very good. It can be written as 50 plus 2. And for number 5, 88. What is the correct answer? Very good. It can be written as 80 plus 8. How do you write 54 as a sum of tens and ones? So the answer is 54 equals 50 plus 4. The value of digit 5 in the number is 5 tens or 50. And the value of digit 4 in the number is 4 ones or 4. Adding them gives 54 equals 50 plus 4. For the assessment, Match the number with its tens and ones. Did you find the answer? For number 1, 26. And the answer is 2 tens and 6 ones. Number 2, 63. The answer is 6 tens and 3 ones. Number 3, 74. The answer is 7 tens and 4 ones. Number 4, 33. The answer is 3 tens and 3 ones. And for number 5, 52. The answer is 5 tens and 2 ones. So, kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!